Hello everybody, welcome to the first episode of Dark World. The intro hasn't even started yet, but before this video begins, first, I want to tell you something very important. I wish I didn't have to tell you this, but apparently I do. Watch the whole freaking video, good god. So, I looked at my analytics, and there's a lot of videos where only 30 seconds of the video actually was watched. Not even the entire video. Literally, watch the whole video. It's like, you know, you don't have to watch every video I make, but it's really stupid that if a video doesn't interest you, then why click on it if you're not even watch the whole thing? Really, watch the whole video, okay? Don't skip, or you could skip, but at least watch the whole thing and hear what I have to say, okay? I'm sorry if I come out really mean and angry right now, but still, it is really stupid that I have to actually tell my audience this. Okay? Alright. Second of all, <laughs> second of all, um, I actually want to say that the whole topic of this whole video is on three of my favorite paranormal videos, to be exact. And one of them is actually my own footage. I captured it at least two weeks ago. So, I'm not gonna tell you guys which one it is until the very end of this video, but hopefully you guys stick around for that and enjoy this video. Lisa Lamb was a foreign exchange student. She was visiting the U.S. and staying at the Cecil Hotel in Los Angeles, California. Her roommate said that she would exhibit very strange behavior, but one day she was found dead in one of the Cecil Hotel's water tanks on the roof. Because of this, occupants of the hotel would complain about the water smelling and tasting foul. Though this is obviously some sort of murder case, hotel staff members claim that the roof is highly secure and she wouldn't have gone past security. So how did she get up there is the big question. And also, what was happening in the elevator footage that was captured before her death? In the footage, Elisa Lamb entered an elevator in the Cecil Hotel where she started exhibiting strange behavior, making weird hand gestures, and looking outside the door as if she was waiting for somebody. She kept pressing all the buttons on the elevator, yet the elevator wouldn't move, not even once. Then Elisa Lamb finally left the elevator and ran the opposite direction. Who knows what this case really is, and it's still a mystery to this day. There's a field of science called cryptozoology which explores unexplainable creature phenomenon from Bigfoot, Loch Ness Monster, Aliens, Jer the Jersey Devil, Mothman, you name it, it's probably a cryptid. Though, there is one very odd cryptid. Nightcrawlers are Native American spirits that reside within the Wyoming area. There are two alleged videos capturing the nightcrawlers as they walk down the roads. Though, the first video is very blurry, the one I'm going to show you, I think, is the most compelling. This one obviously shows what appears to be, well, what just looks like a pair of legs just walking on the road. There's one very large one, and one very small version of that large one. Both walk slowly along the road, and then suddenly vanish, and that's where the video ends. No one can really say if these things exist or not, but the video is very mysterious and compelling. Spirit activity is usually caught on camera. While some apparitions can be explained, others seem like there can be no explanation. This one captured by a ring camera, which, if you don't know, is a brand of hidden camera that is used as a doorbell so you can watch your doors. The video shows what appears to be a mist with what looks like legs walking forward and then running the opposite direction as if something scared it away. 
what makes this video so compelling is that this thing obviously was scared by something, which is the first time that in a video the ghost was the one to be scared by something else. So, who knows? Maybe this could be an obvious explanation, but still creepy as hell. And that's it, guys. I hope you guys enjoy this. Now, time for the ultimate reveal. The moment you've been waiting for. Which video is my footage? Did you guess the last one I showed you? The ring video footage? Because that was mine. So ring is a type of camera. It's like a doorbell. But it's also a camera. You can use your phone. There's an app for it and everything. It's not sponsored. But anyway, this video is not sponsored. But still, you can use the camera and for any way, and it will take motion and everything. So, around 3 a.m., we found this. This was like listed under 3 a.m. Actually, it was more like it was under 3.30 a.m., to be exact. And it was just weird. We didn't know what it was. And I forgot the name of the phenomenon that, where it's like the human eye will try to make out something that's kind of, what you call him, related to it or something like that. Like, that's why we see faces and clouds and stuff like that. But, even if that's true, then why the hell did, it still looks like a mist floating and then running away, so that I don't, that still doesn't explain it. And also, it's very transparent as well. And, also, also, you could clarify it as a reflection. But, from who? Because this was captured outside of a door rather than inside where it can easily be reflective. Like the camera lens could easily capture a reflection, but it'd have to be right in front of it, or at least behind it, and there was nothing behind it. It was literally just that, and then the video was over. So, you know what? And you guys might still not believe me, so let me go show you what this camera looks like. So this is the camera. It, it could be reflective, but yeah. The camera doesn't look like that. So, yeah, and the door is like right here. So, it would have to be like right next to it, which there was nothing right next to it. So, I don't know what it is. So, yes, I really don't know what it is, and it's still creepy as hell. And, oh, yeah, it doesn't look like, again, it doesn't look like an insect because it is transparent, and it does look like it's on the ground rather than flying or floating in the air. And it's pretty large for an insect. So yeah. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, give it a big thumbs up. And I'll see you guys next time in the shadows. Goodbye.